Hi guys, so this time around let's look at how to create a fun summer colouring page layout bundle with 10 vector items that I've downloaded from designbundles.net. Now this is one of my favourite playgrounds for, for sublimation and cutting items and general design items. They have a wealth of stuff. But anyway, enough of that. Let's move on with this because this is quite a interesting process because quite often you'll find files that have JPG and EPS files in them and very rarely you'll have true SVG files. They say they're SVG but what they are is EPS and for Infinity Designer you can easily convert these to SVG files. So let's get on with it. Now the vector bundle I'm talking about is actually free and it's on that link you can see there, designbundles.net, blah 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 blah, all the way along. Don't forget the link that's on there, that's a referral link. Um, that's because uh, I'm an affiliate of Design Bundles, guess what? And if you if you uh, download the free bundle, <laughs> of course I don't get anything, but that's alright, it's a free bundle. But it's very nice. And there's lots of other ones there you can look at. So let's get on with this. Now downloaded and unpacked. This is what this bundle contains. So let's explore the files, see how we use them in Affinity Designer, and you can use them in Publisher. I mean, once you've got them extracted, you can use them in Designer, Photo, or Publisher. You can use them anywhere. Put them on the side of a building if you like. Make a big billboard out of them. You'll see two main file types here, EPS, Encapsulated Postscript, and JPG. Now, as it happens, this particular bundle, it has them all on one page, some are colouring pages, EPS, or already extracted into individual files, which is very handy. But a lot of bundles don't come like that. Now, this is a perfect bundle to show you how to separate them out yourself, because this bundle has some particular quirks to it in the EPS file. So for designer we want the EPS files and for photo or publisher we can use the EPS and or the JPG files. We want the JPG type so we can fit them nicely on a letter US or A4 European page and you can use them for sublimation. You can directly print them. Well as you should know by now if you enlarge them beyond what they are they will pixelate. With, with SVG files, you don't have that problem. Now, let's have a look at the images. They're in individual images as well as all in one page. And we're going to separate out our own individual images from the EPS file. Let's see how to open the EPS file and what to do with it once opened. Now, we only want the individual pages, not the layers, as there are a number of pages in each layer. There are 10 images and 3 layers, and they're mixed up across them. There are some elements of one panel, if you like, in one layer, and some elements of the same panel in another layer. Very difficult. So let's select, copy, and paste them individually into individual files. Now I'll show you how to do this in a moment. It's quite tricky. Man, this is difficult. At first. Nothing you do seems to work, but here's the trick. Not all downloadable EPS files behave the same, so beware. Some you'll get that just open, you can pull a mark around them, and there's all your, file, all your layers or elements grouped into one. But some of them don't. In fact, most of them don't. So let's watch a video so you can follow along with me. This can be quite tricky, and it takes a while. The video comes next. So when you're watching the video and when you're practicing the exercise, download the, the um, free file, the free um, bundle if you like. I'll put the link into the, into the, what do you call it, into the description of YouTube as well. So it'll be easy to find. Now this is the end of this little exercise, we're going straight to the video from here. So just in case you miss it, thanks for watching. 
And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up and the bell. I really appreciate it. So let's get straight to the video. Okay, let's have a look at this. What we have here are these EPS files converted to an SVG file. And I want to separate out each one of these panels here. Now you can see they're all, they've all been mixed up into three groups in this particular file. Now the way you do this is just select, go to the first group and select one layer that's all you need as it happens it's in layer one now we go up here and draw a mark around it you can see the objects being highlighted there's 89 objects but unfortunately what it does is leave some of them out now we've got them all highlighted the layers there and you think every one of them's highlighted so let's put them in a group and we'll call it Panel 1. That group there is the second one. We'll call that Panel 2. Now I previously did that one. That's okay. Now we'll go to the next one. But so long as we're in this group here, we should be able to draw a mark out no, it doesn't do it, you see. You've got to be down here. Where does that show up? That shows up at number 10. That's item number 10. You can see down the bottom there? That one there is highlighted. Now, why, the, why this has been done like this, I have no idea. But what we can do now is... 123 objects, we can group that and call it panel 10. Let's be, let's be consistent here. Panel 10. Now the next one is there. But what I want to do is try and get up here. I want panel 3. Now that's the third group. Let's go to there. Where is that one showing up? That's over there. There it is there, the circle. So let's do this one. Three hundred and seventy four objects. Let's group those together. We'll call that panel 4. What I'm trying to do is get these panels separated out but in part of the same group. Now, oh look, I've missed a, I've missed a whole bunch of them there. Never mind, we're just going to have to come back to that. If I select that group, you can see its bounding box is those first six. Now, oddly enough, there's panel one and panel two we've already done. But that tells me there's more left than panel two. Just ignore panel ten for the time being. Go back up there. Just drop that up for the moment. There's panel four. That one in there is panel six. So what we can do here is do that. Now we're selecting all the panels. Group that together and call that panel six. So we've got a panel four and a panel six. There's panel five. 
that's just popped up there you see panel 5 there it is there there it is there so we know that's panel 5 right underneath panel 6 but it's in that first group you would think Panel 5. So we've got a panel 5, a 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. That panel there we haven't got yet. Panel 3. That group there is the whole group down there. So there's certain files missing. Let's just pull that up there. Go to the first major group. There's panel 3. There are the stars, so there's one, two, three, four, that's panel five, I'll bet. No, that's panel three. Okay, so we've got panel three, they're tiny little stars there. Let's draw a mark around that. 163 objects. We'll group it and call it. panel 3. So that lower group have got all their panels selected. So we'll close that. This group here consists of 1, 2 and 3 and those ones down there. So where does this curve live? There's this curve, it's there, it's in number 9 right there. So let's draw a mark and grab number nine. Group panel nine. Very good. Now you can see that, that we've got one, two and three but what we've got here we need 9, 8 and 7. So that curve there tells me that over there is 7. So let's draw a mark around here. Five hundred and fifty-eight objects. Group. B A N E L seven eight nine ten yes that's the right one panel seven now what's this here that's that one there so for some reason that's that's a huge that's a huge curve that one but there's another curve there so let's select that one and we'll pull down a mark around here. That's still in the same layer group. Grouped them together with Command G. B A N E L panel eight. This is a very long-winded process, and you can't rush it because you'll leave elements behind. Now that one there. Where's that curve popping up? That's popping up in one, two, three. Panel 4. Now we've already done panel 4. Have we done panel 9? There's panel 9. What panel haven't we done? 7, 8, 9.
So those ones belong in panel nine. Still panel nine. So let's what's that one there? Go right to the top. Select all those, there's all panel nine. Let's go right down to now. We've got all those selected. Let's expand that and drag those into panel nine. There we go. They're all in panel nine now. So I can go back up here. I can close panel nine. If you select panel nine, you've got the whole lot. Where's that one? That's in summer. One, two, three. That's in four. That's in four. Where's panel four? There's the group down there. There's panel four there. That's still in panel four. So that tells me that all of those objects there, all of those layers, there's miles of them. Right up to there. Hold the shift key down, select them all. And there you can see they are. They're all panel four. Let's move down here, back down the bottom again. Open panel four. Now carefully pull them down into panel four. And there they are. All in panel four. Close that group up. So now we've got four, five, six. Four, five, six. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one, two. So we can put all of these groups together now. One, two, three, four, five, six groups, panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Through nine, drag those up to there. There we go. Now we've got panel ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and they're all in the first group. So let's just take them completely out of those strange groups that the EPS file put them in and move them up one. And there we go. Now we've got a group there, a group there, and a group there, which we can just turn off. Now you have everything just where you want it. Panel 1, panel 2, panel 3, panel 4, panel 5, panel 6, panel 7, panel 8, panel 9, and panel 10. Now you have 10 images that are SVG images, pure SVG images, that you can do anything you like with, except put a pixel layer in there. So if you put an image behind those, they will no longer be an SVG file. Just remember that one. So let's save that, and I'll call that Save As Summer Colouring Pages Sorted. Put it in the Affinity Designer folder because I want to come back to that later. And there we go. Save. All done. Ah, oh, that's not much work, is it? If you watched to the end of that, thanks for your patience.